All right, friend of Aristotle. Friend of Aristotle, man, this guy's old. Sorry if this is off topic, but do you consider the Russian debt default worse because other countries are unwilling to take their money rather than Russia not having the money to pay? Um, what do I think of the Russian debt default? I mean, I think that Russia, the debt default, uh, you know, I don't, th you're saying that other countries are unwilling to take their money rather than Russia not having the money to pay. Um, I, I don't know if that's the case. I don't know exactly what brought about the default. I, I, you know, the default of Russian debt in this context is not that economically meaningful because it is the reflection of these sanctions. Look, the Russian economy, in spite of everything that you might be hearing out there, is a disaster. Um, quality of life, standard of living is in decline dramatically. The country is having a hard time uh, creating enough to, 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 to produce and to sustain any kind of reasonable standard of living. The economy in Russia is going to shrink by something like 10%. 10%, take a 10% hit to your span of living, quality of life. And part of that is the default. Now, the only reason Russia continues to have any kind of economy and to sustain it in any way is because Europe continues to buy natural gas for, from it and um, other countries around the world continue to buy oil from it. So the only thing that sustain is sustaining the Russian economy is natural resources. And unfortunately, there is no complete embargo. There is no complete embargo on natural resources. So the Russians don't sell their oil to Western Europe because Western Europe is boycotting it. So they sell it to India or they sell it to China. They're still getting money from it, so they still have income. But how does that income filter down to the average Russian? It doesn't. The oligarchs are still rich. The oligarchs are doing great. Uh, the people in power in Russia are doing fantastic doing fantastic, but um, the, uh, the Russian people are um, in horrible shape. The Russian people are losing everything. And, um, you know, Russia is a disaster zone. Um, Russia is, is, is uh, as I said before, losing this war um, in, in, uh, in, on a, really on every front, really. Uh, even though they've gained territory, they're losing the war. They, they, they might be winning some battles, but they're losing the war. Um, they, uh, and, and they're losing it from an economics perspective. Uh, they're losing it because NATO is expanding. I don't know if you read today, as I predicted, I predicted this war almost one to, you know, perfectly. As I predicted, NATO and Turkey have come to a deal where Turkey will not object to the addition of Sweden and Finland into NATO. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the, the Russians have lost because if their purpose was to, to, to hurt NATO or to, to cause NATO to, to, to have smaller borders with Russia, it's not, NATO's not going to have bigger borders, longer borders with Russia. Russia's going to be more at risk. Um, it, you know, they're losing because they have to take, they have to mothball T-62s. They have to bring out of out of storage 262s because they've lost so many 272s on the battlefront that then they have to bring out a tank that hasn't really properly been used in battle since, I don't know, since the 70s. And they're bringing it out to the front. Now that the, now that the uh, Ukrainians have uh, longer range missiles and have uh, the Western artillery, I mean, it's not going to be easy, and, and, and you know, and Ukraine could uh, uh, fail in pushing the Russians back, but there's a really good chance that uh, they get pushed back completely. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. 
press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.